Yeah. Aaron Capole uh, joining us here. And you'd mentioned PA Woods and Forest. Uh, and uh, before we uh, end this conversation today, um, just maybe a little bit of background about what that is all about too, since since you've, you've brought it up time and time again. Yeah, PA Woods and Forests is a nonprofit organization that I helped to found this year in 2022. And we focus on the conservation of a lot of the abundant frogs, toads, reptiles, um, some salamanders, invertebrates, many plants like the carnivorous plants specifically. And our goal is to perform outreach to create events. We just had an event in Somerset County with Kimberly Run and the Somerset Conservancy. We had almost 40 people show up to a frog walk. And that's great. Yeah, it broke yeah. the record for them and for us as to how many people we've been getting to events. But we do things like that where I'll do some um, audio, I'll play audio calls on a Bluetooth speaker and ask everybody, what frog do you think this is? And that gets them ready also because as we're walking out into the forest in the evening, you'll probably hear that frog calling. So it gives you a little bit of background knowledge before we're heading out. So that's one of the most important things. And then I'm also presenting as a guide. The other thing we've done is millipede roundups where we go out to different bike trails. I teach people how to pick them up, give a presentation as to why we move them off of the road, off of the bike trails so that way they don't get hit because of how important they are. There's other things that we do too, like critter talks where I bring in a couple of my pets. I give presentations, especially to kids and seniors. So those are a lot of the big events right now we're working on creating more, um, also doing citizen science projects, documenting what species of amphibian and reptile is here, what is there. Um, so that's a lot of what we do. We're looking to get into creating conservation projects, like building habitats with some of the other nonprofits like Stackhouse Park and Lorraine Stony Creek hiking trails. Mm -hmm. So we're looking to build ponds. We're looking to do uh, flora plantings, which is just maybe we'll put in ferns or some type of wetland plants or berry bushes or something, you know, something that's native to try and increase uh, activity in that habitat for a lot of our target species. So a lot of people might be wondering what we focus on other than frogs or what specific frogs. And you could see the About Us page for PA Woods and Forests. If they sign up on the website, they could get informed about events. Uh, we also have a lot of good activity on the Facebook page right now. We have a blog. So there's so much going on. There's so much help that I've gotten over the last year with people jumping on board to become more of a marketing team. And um, our main priority right now, we're focusing on our events, on conservation projects, and influencing people through our social media with our website and our Facebook. And we're really hoping to continue to encourage the regional population and try and expand through PA Woods and Forests to be able to generate this message of the care of the common animals, the backyard conservation. Our main point is especially getting folks that um, have this wildlife in their backyards to appreciate it, to care about it, to share it, and to want to preserve it. And that's really at the end of the day where Frog Week comes in, the other project I haven't even mentioned, Conservation Week, and so many other things. So I really encourage people to check us out and to enjoy what we're doing and try and get involved if they think that they have an interest or they have a deeper passion to want to help us. We're always looking for volunteers. There's still possible spots for our board members. There's more that could, could be added. So there's a lot that we could do. Um, there's a lot of opportunity, especially in Western and Central PA where we service. Down to our last minute with Aaron Capole, and uh, you're getting noticed. I think that's a great thing, just the way that this is, uh, just the way that this has grown. It's uh, just uh, uh, tremendous. And as you talked about uh, Frog Week uh, upcoming again, uh, in case somebody missed the early part of the conversation here, in a half minute, how can they access this? Well, check out. PA Woods and Forest's website, PA Woods and Forest's Facebook, PA Woods and Forest's YouTube channel. It's going to be something you've never seen before. Unique content about native species, native frogs and toads. It's my conservation project. I'm inviting you August 1st through August 7th to join me for different episodes that come out during that time. Aaron Capole, always enjoy the conversation. Keep doing what you do. This is just awesome. Thank you. Thank you.